So we just got desert snow back and we're already dropping them off in someone else's hands once again. So if you remember, not that long ago, we dropped desert snow off at our service repair center for some warranty work to be taken care of. A lot of things were delayed, parts, things like that. So when we got back to Las Vegas, we decided to take him out, stretch his legs a little bit, go on a, an impromptu trip, and that's when the accident happened. So, fast forward to today, we actually got a call from our service center that's ready to do some warranty work. If your service center wants to work on it and all the parts are in, you take them and you go, which is it's exactly what we did. So we're here right now. We're gonna drop him off. He's gonna get some work done, but we have a special surprise for this trip. Three beers and a phonograph. It's a drop of the needle and you spin the hat. It's pictures frame, loneliness, and it's two shots in a bone kiss. I'll pick the app. Woo! Two shots. Yep, that's right. We swapped Desert Snow for a brand new 2023 view. And thank you so much to Blackford's RV Rentals here in Las Vegas for giving us this while Desert Snow is getting his repairs taken care of. So we have a full trip ahead of us. We're really excited to kind of give you what is inside this new view. I mean, the layout is super cool. I am so excited to share this with you. Dave is like itching to get in the driver's seat and drive already. But we have a long drive ahead of us because we're heading to Oregon and we have a really cool event that we're trying to get to there but we'll talk more about that later because one thing we don't want to do is be driving late at night because i get a little scared so i'm a big rig like this so let's hit the road jack Woo! Oh yeah, and if you're curious about Blackford Luxury RV Rentals, well, they have a few to choose from. They even have one similar to ours, except it's a pop top. They have the, oh, they have a Revel, which is cool too. They have the Van Revel, they have the Solus, the Small, the 19, and the XL, and of course, the Views to choose from. And there's some perks that comes along with their rentals. If you're interested, we'll leave a link in the description box below. And thanks again, Blackford, for uh, giving us a new home on wheels for two weeks. Woohoo! <laughs> First fill up. So what's the total? Uh, let's see, it's uh, put in about 17 gallons at $106.70. 17 gallons. Yeah, $106.70. Oh This here is a, a Nevada local brewery, and what they do is they offer you a choice of a six pack. Remember that? That's pretty so you cool. Get a choice of a six pack, and their whole, you know, the motto when she talked to us, Cindy said, is we want you to get to your destination after a long drive and just crack open a beer and relax. And so, let's crack it open. Eh. Cheers yeah, to a fun adventure. Yes. <laughs> I wanted to tell you guys too, so if you don't see the kitties, Unfortunately, the kitties could not make this trip with us. Um, Blacksford does not allow cats in their rig, so we have a friend of ours that are sitting them. Does a great job. We'll get pictures and updates every day. So here's to our little boobies, Bailey yes. and Brady. We love you guys. Miss you. Guys. Mm. I'm exhausted. I think we get some, what do you think? Get a good night's sleep, chill, I relax, agree. and then wake up and- We'll kind of set up in the morning. And set up and do the tour. This is really, this is really cool. We can't wait to show you. No. This is pretty cool. It's really cool. Modern. Mm. Mm. Now, I usually make coffee for Tiny in the morning, but today, we're gonna do something a little bit different. Well, good morning. It's a beautiful day here. First thing we're doing, they actually, we heard have a 
coffee and some homemade donuts available. So we're going for a walk, checking those out. Yeah. Most important part about this is the have your own mugs. Is that right, Dave? Yeah, exactly. To take away coffee. Take away coffee. I like that. It may not happen here. And supposedly these donuts are fresh and homemade. We'll, we'll, we'll test that out. <laughs> no, no, they're gonna be I great. Sure will they're gonna be great. Wow. This is really cool. Oh, I got little birds over there. In the sunset feels different this time. There's a feeling if you feel it. So it has been confirmed. Those muffins, not donuts, muffins are homemade. So they're giving us choice of poppy seed as well as a carrot one. So, and I fill up this coffee mug to the top. I'll have a little sip here, work it halfway down and then refill it again because they're gonna be stopping this at nine o'clock. So it's cute that they have this here on Saturday morning. It's not quite the, the weekend that they have going on here at this campsite. Now, I don't remember the name of this campsite because we got in pretty late, but Dave is the planner, so he does, so he'll tell you in a little bit. But there's a pool, there's this uh, lovely little center here, and actually, there's festival, uh, a film festival weekend going on here and some live music that'll be happening tonight. So, maybe after breakfast, and after the tour, we go enjoy a little bit of that and see what this town has to offer. And we ever miss. Yeah, there's something about your sweet smiles just different this time so baby lean in like you mean it welcome to our new small luxury rv Woo. okay definitely not designed for a tiny to be getting up there more for like the kiddos or someone with a little bit more agility but we'll get into that in a little bit so dave's gonna actually tell you guys a little bit more about the specs and the exterior of the rv i am going to give you a tour of the inside and it definitely has a luxury feel for a small camper now starting with this kitchen this is a a nice kitchen in my opinion really loving the fact that it has dual sinks y'all and the color scheme in here definitely feels a little bit more modern a little of that upgrade feel a little more luxury lots of counter space which is something i really like i don't know the composite of this it just might be more like a formica but white clean you know style i love that it has your options now i probably would have put in maybe two inductions versus the propane but hey it's giving you the option if you like propane great if you like induction hey wonderful so love that they have those two options there i have to say this is one thing i was surprised with you know and dave will talk more about this outside but it seemed like there was a lack of storage we we're kind of worried about that because the echo we have this massive garage space but in here it actually there's more space than i I can't believe it. There's so much more that I could put in here. I just couldn't believe how much space, which is a big bonus if you like to bring things or if you're bringing your family or friends on a trip, storage is key. So let me show you the storage, but I have to say, one thing that we don't have in ours, which I would really like, is more of these type of knobs, lock knobs, versus the ones that we have that are pull open, magnets and the magnets seem to have ones that rip out of the ceiling but this is great because it sort of has its own sort of mini hydraulics you know hinges on these things which are great i mean there's so much storage in here you guys like they even have storage you ready for this one you probably gonna see dave behind the tv i mean there you are with your own dvd player some hdmi cables good for you know the atari playing action that we have in going on later on this evening yes atari wait till you see it love that it has the insignia tv and the way they set this design up in my opinion really kind of conforms to entertainment now this is cool I couldn't believe this. I didn't even know what to bring at first. I was like, okay, we have a lot of groceries we can take out of you know, desert snow and bring here, but I'm not sure. So I didn't realize that they had a full on refrigerator that could fit your beer, milk, everything else. And not just that, there is enough freezer space for like everything. Ice cream, lasagna, pasta, fruits and veggies, you know, all that good stuff for me. And it goes on and on and on. And even over here, I'm just gonna keep this rolling. A little messy, but we fold it in here. But look, all this drawer space organized drawer space, which is exactly what I'm talking about. Full disclaimer, this tour is gonna to be very much lived in because we moved our stuff in here, so you might see a little bit of mess here and there, but hey, that's how we roll. <laughs> Hey, convection. Yes, y'all, a convection oven. This is something I would love, <clears throat> Dave, <clears throat> to have in our rig. But I think, unfortunately, in desert snow, the size, obviously, weight, things like that, you have to pick and choose your weapons. Unfortunately, I can't have one of these. But yes, a full-on convection oven by Greystone, which is great. Welcome to our dining room slash living room slash entertainment space slash bedroom. Oh my goodness, this is another bedroom. And I have to say, this 
has a massive slide out for a small camper, right? Yeah, now this is a massive slide. This is just part of the slide out. Wait until we show the bed oh my as goodness well. Gracious, yeah. And coming from the Echo, I mean, I can't get over how much space is in this yeah. thing. Yeah, oh, and I have to say, the actual specs, when you read it, it's a little bit more narrow than the Winnebago Echo. Yeah, when it's everything's just about together. The same, when everything's together. Unbelievable. Which surprised me, but obviously I think it's because the Mercedes Sprinter chassis, which is on Dave, we'll get into that, it's smaller than the yeah, Ford. Yeah, a little narrower. A little narrower yeah. than the Ford Transit. But yeah, it's when you put this thing out, it feels like luxury home on wheels. I just, I'm getting a little spoiled. The only thing I miss right now is the kitties because they would just be jumping right up here, just flopping around and enjoying it. And, and this know. is the place, if we were in this longer term, I mean, you would completely make this so super homey. Oh my gosh, right? I would be decking this out. They would be like greenery flowers. The, I might might mess around changing some of the cushions, but I would certainly make it extra homey. Tanya, stop. Seriously, there is more cabinet space. Right there, storage there. They supplied us with a bundle of towels for us, so we'll never need to be dirty again. <laughs> and just another cabinet over there with extra space. And let me just show you this really quick. So this is sort of a, I call it like a twin XL. Definitely designed for like the kiddos or if you're having friends that are much smaller that can enjoy climbing up there, but it's pretty cool. Has its own little enclave windows on two sides, which are great. Uh, plugs, outlets, there's a DC outlet. There's two USBs as well as some AC up there as well, AC outlets. There's ventilation up there. So whatever you're feeling down below, if it's heat or AC, they're getting that up there, especially if they're closing those privacy screens. So cool. Welcome to our bathroom. Now, I have to tell you this. It's small, but it's also larger than ours. It feels really great for this size. And instead of me giving you a tour, how about you just go inside and take a look for yourself? Oh, and I love that there is, this is not a wet bath. This is actually a full bath. And there's a shower right in here. And, oh, oh, oh my God. Okay. Caught, me in the, caught me hanging out in the shower oh, again. Of course you hanging out on the shower. Of course, uh, again. Oh, Davo. Has a little sun, almost like a little sunroom here. Let me here. give you a little more privacy. Mm -mm -mm. Just want to point out while I'm in the bathroom, this here, y'all, in the bathroom is like an extra closet, a deep closet. So no, they didn't give us hangers. So this is where you would hang your stuff versus just, you know, throw it in there. Um, they do have cushions here for the seats, uh, kind of like boosters. And then of course there's an extra table. Now that table that you saw there could either fit right here, which uh, accommodates for your living room area. Yep. And then of course uh, there, or if you're not using it there, these two captain seats both turn around and there is the spot for you to have another space to eat, work, relax, enjoy. Oh, now we definitely saved the best, in my opinion, for last. So you might be wondering, where do you two crazy kids sleep? I know there's one up top, there's a little one you gotta put together, but where's the master bedroom? Well, I got something for ya. Mm, check this out. Of course the switch is in the bathroom. Wait, there you go, just a second. Okay. Draw the two legs. It's a Murphy bed, y'all. A, a big old Murphy bed. And then we're gonna bring this on down. Sorry it's not me, but that's what happens when it folds up. Boom. Murphy bed in effect. It looks like a king to me. Like a California king style or just a giant queen. I don't know, but you know how they custom make these things to fit nice in here. Of course you got the uh, hmm, sexy, sexy covers. <laughs> it's like sexy covers, but great use of space here. There's actually two more full kind of drawer spaces in there, cabinet spaces. You got your lights. Each side comes equipped with sort of dual uh, USB ports and some AC outlet, almost like your little end table. And there's a window. Get that fresh air right up in here. A nice window, which let me tell you, last night was, oh my gosh, the air. It was so well received in here that sometimes, we, you know, that saying, you get what you wish for. Well, we got what we wished for because it was freezing at like four o'clock in the morning, but it was comfortable, Murphy bed. And it's just as easy to put up as if it was to go down. Here, let me show you. Back up. Might want to go way back because it's the, I'm not used to this one. Let's see, hold on. Oh, there it goes. Bye-bye, Betty. Yes, and you put the legs right back up. One. Hey, I'm getting good this day. You are, you got it. There's two. You're rolling. All right. Bye, Bobbit. See you tonight. 
Boom. And of course I would tuck in all the little sides so it doesn't look like there's a bed back there. I guess that's the point of a Murphy bed. Doesn't look like there's a bed yeah. back there. All right, now, I'm sorry you guys. I gotta freshen up, tidy up, cause there's a fun little event we're going to. But I think you should get outside and let uh, Dave take it from here. See y'all. Thanks, babe. Now, this RV is, of course, the 2023 Winnebago View. And as Tanya mentioned, it's built on a Mercedes Sprinter chassis, actually a 22 chassis. Now, the Sprinter is actually a diesel engine, of course, uh, and it's 188 horsepower. Now, that's quite a bit less in terms of horsepower than what we have in the Winnebago Echo. And you do notice that on the hills, but I gotta say, overall, it drives very smoothly, handles very well in the wind, and the power is adequate in most situations. Now, the view is just under 26 feet in length, which is really not that long at all but it comes with this massive slide which makes a huge difference inside creates an incredible amount of space Now the view does come with a black tank, so it's definitely not like the Echo in the cassette toilet. And the black and gray tanks are actually 41 gallons a piece. The freshwater tank, which is kind of interesting to us, is only 30 gallons. We're used to having the larger freshwater. Let us know in the comments below if that's something you're used to as well. And the 30 amp power cord actually comes right back in here and is attached to the rig. Now this next system we are very familiar with, and that's of course because it's in the Winnebago Echo, and we're excited to see it's in the view as well. It is the Truma Aquago hot water system. It's insta-hot, and it just does a great job. It does run off propane, as does the heat inside. So let me show you the propane tanks on the other side, and there goes a truck going right by. <laughs> Where's Dave? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to underneath the slide out. Now this is something obviously very different from the Echo. You got to slide <laughs> under the slide out here. If the slide is open, uh, here's a propane tank right underneath. It's a standard uh, RV propane tank. It is uh, 51 pounds. Now compared to the Echo, which has two standard 20 pound tanks, obviously there's more capacity here, and uh, which is great because if you're going into colder weather, need that heat, need the hot water, and also cooking inside, you want a pretty good size capacity capacity propane tank. Oh, I should also point out this guy right here. Uh, of course, it comes with a 3600 Onan generator. We like the Onan generators. We have one, a smaller one on the Echo, but this also runs off the propane. So another reason why you need that good size propane tank. Oh, and while I'm down here, check it out. They have a propane quick connect, which we love. You guys know we love for our outside fire pits. And for those not familiar, essentially allows you to connect your propane devices very easily right here. Turn it on, boom, you have an outside connection to your propane devices. <sighs> Now we got to talk about this one. Yeah. Kind of like that huge slide out on the other side. The view has a massive awning. It does. Right? It kind of reminds us of our awning, except there's like an extra bar in the middle. Exactly. So compared <laughs> to the Echo, this thing is huge. Bigger! <laughs> <laughs> now, if you're wondering whether this rig has lithium batteries, well, the good news is it does. It has two Lithionics batteries. They each have 130 amp hours for a total of 260 amps, which is pretty good. And it's right there under the stairs. Right there. Very simple. <laughs> Now the view does have two solar panels here up on the rooftop. Not sure exactly what size those are. It looks to be about 100 watts each for a total of 200, but let us know in the comments below if you know, we'd appreciate it. Now the view has quite a bit of storage separated into multiple compartments throughout. Now a big difference between the view and our Echo, the Echo has a massive garage space, which we love. We love that huge space. This one, you have to be a little bit more creative in terms of what you're gonna place where because the compartments are quite a bit smaller and variable in size throughout. Hey, if you have any questions about what you saw on this tour with this rig, let us know in the comments below. But for right now, it's time to eat. I got my bags packed, timeline on track. My winter coat stuck in the closet. Hey, get your stats in. I see that. Get your stats and hats in there. 20% off. Wow, the Technicolor. I know, look at that thing, huh? Yeah. It it's, kind of blows my mind how many films we're filmed up here in Alabama Hill oh, Country, right? So it's crazy, many. yeah. Like a good Western. Right? Nine times out of 10, it was filmed up in here. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're hitting all the filming spots. Yes. You know, awesome. in our tours around the country. Oh, I know. And this is just kind of one of those, we just kind of stumbled on it by accident. I'm so happy that we did. Oh, here we go. <laughs> a little Tarantino film. Exactly, yep. Actually, it's a little photo booth. Right? <laughs> Get your up, picture baby. taken. That's, that's you? Oh, <laughs> she's the one in charge of the photo booth. Oh, well, 
It's just donation for the music. It's a donation, right? It's it's a donation. That's kind of cool to get dressed up. You can go to jail, if you want. <laughs> <laughs> you can, you can jail Dave. I got to go to jail. You can, you can sample that. Right. It'd be a little different than the last time I put you in there. Exactly. <laughs> I'm going to jail a lot, I think, yeah. right? I'm going to jail a lot. How's it feel to finally be behind bars? I'm going to get me out of here. I'm going to get me you know, out of here. Women rule and boys drool. Is that what they say? I'm getting out of here. Oh, you're, you're, you think you're getting out of here? I am. I can do it. Mm. What's your cup? You might probably don't cry. <laughs> Welcome to the Film Festival Museum. Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like now we gotta go rewatch these films and look for the Alabama Hills. I agree. Right, in the footage. Yeah, you totally feel like. Right? Now, now I'm definitely ready to go check out right. these movies. And I'm like, okay, I've seen it once, okay, great, but now you're gonna watch it with a different eye. Exactly. It's kind of like Monument Valley, too, like the movies there. Reminds me of that. Mm -hmm. It'll be in Texas. I, I feel yeah. like one of the cool things, we're just talking to some individuals where this film festival is a big deal. A lot of the people from history's past, oh, yeah. you know, and their children come here to speak because some of them aren't really here today, you know. Guys like but, John Wayne's yeah. children yeah. and things like that. Yeah, and I think right behind us is a father was in film and he's a former f Apparently he was football. a stuntman too. And a stuntman, yeah. It's amazing. But you, can you feel like, like you're ready for your close up here? I feel like I'm ready for my close-up. You're always ready for your close-up, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Bad Badlands. <laughs> Badlands, you got Dakota. it. South Dakota. That's right. I have to get over there. You do. Welcome to the stunts quarters, Dave. I know, Matt. the stuntsmen of the Western. It's got to be rough being a stuntman. Oh, gosh. Right, in these westerns and holy cow. I, it's, I would be terrified. But is that gentleman right here? Oh, I'm after you. Is that the one right behind us? Hmm. Could that be? Could it be? From the lonely orphan children to the great games of men. So it's still one of the most famous fight scenes. I mean, two of the guys, two of the stuntmen, actually uh, ended up going to the hospital after. Because oh I mean, not only was the fight in the in the bar, but they took him right out of the, right through the windows and out into the street and everything. And then my dad, there's a, I don't know if you know, there's a uh, airport nearby. We saw that. Yeah. So during the uh, filming, some guy came and buzzed the location with his plane, and there was a bunch of cattle, and they stampeded the cattle, and my dad's leg got pinned against the post, so he had to wear a big brace, the like the last third of the movie. So you can imagine braces back then, what they looked like. You know, they had to look like, you know, Frankenstein. Look at the title, <laughs> lead poison. But Diego, I could not kick it. You saw, Yeah. I couldn't kick it. Well, you want to put your name on that one? Okay. A good picture. We've been doing this. Uh-oh. Here we go, here we go. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh, here we go. Oh, with the oh, cutout. <laughs> is he really this tall? There we yeah. go. He's tall. Oh, you get you get in between I me and Dan. Between. Okay, hold on. Yeah. I'm in here with me and Dan. <sighs> Let's see. Okay, sure. I'm just doing a little video right there. Oh, no. Coming at you. <laughs> oh wow. Lone Ranger and Tonto. <laughs> I think you were in one of these over in. Uh, I was. Right. In, uh, in Utah. In Utah, exactly. Yeah. In C Cedar actually in Cedar City, Cedar yeah. City. Oh, that's a car. Wow. Look at that! You got the whole crew, the director, everything up here on the car. That's crazy. Right, kind of maybe I have to ride maybe with the horses or something. You were fine. There was no one else I want to see. There was nothing else I want to do. Welcome to Outlaw Alley. If you are bad, once again, we can lock you in the prisons. Dave, get in there. Get into another prison. We can't close this one. But this is called Outlaw Alley. I see an emergency exit. I'm hey, there. that's not supposed to be there. See you later. That's the wrong portal. <laughs> but I have a surprise for you. Oh yeah? Come straight. 
turn for your left. Oh, Ooh. here we go. We're entering another dimension. This is the Iron Man. Now, Iron Man actually had a scene up here. Right? Right? I guess he uh, blew up a lot of stuff. Yeah. This is where it, it kind of tells you. Yeah, you can see a picture. Oh, cool. Kinda... There you go. There, oh, oh, amazing. And there's, there's his, uh, I guess that's the outfit. So, speaking of another dimension, like as we're in here, you can definitely feel why Alabama Hills really has sort of this authentic vibe between like, you know, Western movies would be great there, space movies would be great there, I mean, Iron Man scene would be great there. Oh, there's a lot of real history from old to modern. It's just, I had no idea this is where a lot of magic happened, but here it is. Oh, what are you doing over we there? We gotta watch out for those alien creatures. Oh my God. This is where they were, Alabama Hills. Right? Are you kidding me? Yeah, they might be oh, under the ground. I'm watching it right now. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, did you see, did you see that? The effects are you see the effects? Look like a rug. <laughs> mm. Oh, you can't miss the John Wayne section. Come on, an American icon, right here. <laughs> wow, I'm here I thought all actors were like tiny. Right? Yeah, not here, not in the Westerns apparently. Not the Westerns, right there, tall. mountain, mountain. <laughs> So even the movie The Django was filmed out in these parts of the area. And of course, Quentin Tarantino, Jamie Foxx, and others had to sign their names all right here on the wall of love here at the Film Festival Museum in Lone Pine, California, baby. So we're finally getting some food and we're going to a restaurant here, a family-owned restaurant that is very highly recommended, highly regarded, supposedly some of the best steaks here in town. And it's called Seasons. Right. Right, it is popular, it's, it's quite very, the line. It's quite the line. <laughs> Thank you. Right? Oh, wow. Ah. We're just following in? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Is this the bar? Let's go through the bar. Oh, this is the bar or the table? I don't know. This is the bar or the table? Yeah, this is a great bar. Do you want to sit the bar, Dave? I'm happy to sit in the bar. Let's do it. This is the trick. This is the place to go? This is the hangout spot where you don't the bar. The bar. Okay. Because there's only, I think, eight seats. Oh. That's perfect. That's a, that's a cool bar, too. Holy cow, this is awesome. Well, cheers, cheers. Happy, tra happy, happy trails. Happy, yeah, happy trails. trails. Cheers. Ooh, yes. Cheers. <laughs> Woo. Cheers. Oh, that's Oh, that great. is really good. That is great. I feel like now it's time to enjoy a nice meal before heading back and resetting up camp all over again. <laughs> exactly. Chicken stew. Just on the side. Ready for piglet? Thank you. I'm no, ready for piglet. Wait, our man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, really nice. Oh, yeah. over there. Oh, yeah. So that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. 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 Disney. Yeah. 
Dave, can I go, babe? Can, can I just stay oh, here in the front house for a while? Right. Right. From my experience, oh, right. Right. I can hang out here for right. Right. Oh, right. This is so sweet. Oh, the prop house was Thank awesome. you, Mike. Yeah. That shall not be, be called Mike. The, Thank you. Appreciate that. Right. Well, if you're gonna talk about my endowment, you need to do another one so I could actually match it. And this one, I want Pooh Bear on it. Are you trying to think? Do you know that Pooh Bear is the hardest of those characters to draw? And you haven't had any. Yeah, you have swamp water. I'll give you some light. I'll give you some light. There you go. Have some light. <laughs> it should help out. Well, if I don't like it, I'll tear it up. I'll give it to you. Okay. Well, I think you're liking I get two. I'm really special. Production drawings of Tigger that is signed to Mike, who draws Tigger best. Paul Winchell, GTFN. So you want Tigger? Paul Winchell was the voice of Tigger. If you draw Tigger, I'll see back, what I can do. I haven't drawn poo in in ages. Oh, bother there. Are some things sweeter than honey? This is a great one. Thank you. It's fast and loose. Yeah. Kind of women I like. <laughs> Pro Magnon head of his is very hard to get right to capture his simplicity. It's very involved. Some napkins are like toilet paper; they just shred up when you. <laughs> oh, I know that. I know those. They're terrible. <laughs> oh dear God! Hey, turn it up, world! Don't All forget right. to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, fist All right, thank you. Cheers, guys. Thank like you. That's cool. Very nice. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. I'm was really excited to dive this. I have to mention that you can actually, when you're ordering your meal here, you can actually split them. Um, they used to charge a fee for it, but now they don't. So Dave and I are kind of sharing the steak, which eliminates the calories. Mashed potatoes, of course, they're Bernay sauce, which is nice. And that's 34 bucks. That's it. 34 bucks for all that. For two people, that's a great split. Sauce is added in there. So I'm really excited to dive into this. I know Dave is. I can see him right behind the camera licking his lips. Yeah.